In our last video, we left Silver Bay on the north shore of Lake Superior, where we had been waiting for a long line of thunderstorms to pass. We had just 23 nautical miles until we finally reached our goal and arrived in the Apostle Islands. But in order to reach Sand Island, we again had to rely on our engine as the winds were, well, I guess you could say they were a tad inconsistent and the waves made the ride fairly interesting, and also kept the poor doggies sequestered down below. As we approached Sand Island and our journey was almost complete, wouldn't you know, the engine started acting up. We made the decision to keep going as long as the engine was running and set a course for Schooner Bay Marina. The engine limped along, but never quit on us, thank goodness, and we managed to get in safely. <laughs> High five for getting here. So I was asking Jill a second ago if she was scared. What did you say? Oh, I wasn't really scared of any there wasn't going to be any disaster as as far as we knew the wind was going to be light and it was very light so more the concern was not having any wind at all and losing totally losing uh all momentum but um i guess you know the worst thing that would could have happened in that case would be that we uh got in the dinghy and pushed ourselves into an anchorage dropped the anchor the waves weren't too bad Mm -mm. inside the islands yeah, let's um, in here. so the wind um yeah the wind just came from every direction <laughs> is is not uncommon here um but when we finally got really good wind of course as is the usual case was right on the nose so um and it, this, the sails helped a little bit initially when we had we were kind of close hauled for a while i think it gave us an extra half a knot so while I was busy down below keeping the engine tweaked, and every time it would start to die, I'd have to adjust something. I'm not even sure I was doing anything, but it seemed to do the trick. And Joe was up raising and lowering the main, furling and unfurling the Genoa. And the dogs kept me company down below. So we got in here at 4.30. Yeah, so that was only seven hours today. That wasn't too bad. So, it's supposed to be uh, four and a half to our anchorage at Sand Island, where we're going to go. We really enjoyed the atmosphere at Schooner Bay. It is a community of seasoned sailors, many of whom are owners of classic, full-keel, blue-water capable vessels. We used to own one of these ourselves. Our first boat was a 1976 Bristol 32. And even though we now own a very practical coastal cruiser in cadence, we will always be drawn to these teak-laden beauties. Who knows, maybe one day we'll own one again. Turning back to our engine issues, a mechanic was able to take a quick look at it the morning after we arrived, but unfortunately he was not able to diagnose the problem in the limited amount of time he had. We were moved from our spot on the wall to a slip toward the end of the dock where we would wait for the next five days. Why? Well, it was almost Labor Day weekend, and everyone was busy getting ready for the marina's signature celebration of the summer. Schooner Fest. Of course, we were graciously invited to join the party. Um, any reflection upon today? Well, 
Tyrannus gives us the cruising life that we had dreamed of for our vacation? No, but certainly is part of why I felt that we should take two weeks, because I knew there's always unexpected things that come up. So, I mean, the good news is that we're in the best place in the area for engine work, for diesel engine work. Um, hopefully they'll get to the bottom of whatever is causing the uh, the throttling down issue and hopefully we'll be able to move on soon and that is what it looks like up there right now very pretty if we're gonna be stuck somewhere I guess this is the place we're stuck In spite of our frustration over another extended delay in our Apostle Island's vacation, we made the best of things. After all, there is hardly a more beautiful place to be stranded on Lake Superior. Just a few miles from the marina, we found a great place to hike at Frog Bay Tribal National Park. Located on the Red Cliff Reservation and owned by the Red Cliff Band of Lake Superior Chippewa, Frog Bay is the first tribal national park to be established in the United States. As of today, there are a few other tribal national parks, including one run by the Navajo Nation in Colorado, and also one being developed by the Blackfeet Nation in Montana. Thank <laughs> you. 
they spent another day hanging out in the beautiful town of Bayfield. Bayfield is a charming little community. Kind of reminds me of an East Coast seaside village. There are several marinas in town, including the Apostle Islands Marina and the City Dock. Lots of green space and walkways. A bunch of great restaurants and shopping galore. But one of our favorite things about Bayfield is that many of the businesses are dog friendly, including the Many Penny Bistro, where the dogs were welcomed onto their lovely patio. Oh, and the food, that was pretty good too. Victor is waiting very patiently. We've got a mechanic that's going to come and take a look at the boat. Just got done having crepes. Jill's uh, looking for some kind of internet connection, which there's very little of here. Check the weather. See so what we're going to do today. Maybe kind of di dictated by the uh, prognosis of our engine here. So, perfect day to be having the engine worked on at a marina. It's raining out. Right, Victor? Yeah? What do you think, Raven? Think so too? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's raining, isn't it, buddy? So we're here, and they're. Got the injectors off. Talk to Eric about the uh, the center pump. So they've pulled that off. They're checking that. The other one tested out. The old one tested out just fine. So now they're going to test out the new one that we had had installed previously because it's possible that that failed. But... All right, we got Eric on board as our what are you an intern? Intern. The intern diesel mechanic there with Spinner Bay. <laughs> well. He is the that gentleman that good. changed out our sending pump fuel sending pump and the engine is sounding nice and nice and good I hesitate saying anything until <laughs> <laughs> we have we have a visitors. Poor Bernie, he's on the back. It's already a deer whisperer. Now he'll be a bird whisperer. Oh, 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 oh. Oh. Oh, 